Reports have emerged that on Monday, South Korea and the United States were set to kick off their largest joint exercise in five years after nuclear-armed Pyongyang warned such drills could be seen as a declaration of war. As per reports, Washington and Seoul have ramped up defense cooperation in the face of growing military and nuclear threat from the north which has conducted even more provocated banned weapons tests in recent months. The Allies said that US-Korea exercises called the Freedom Shield are scheduled to run for at least 10 days from Monday and will focus on changing security environment due to the North's redoubled aggression. In an unusual step this month, the South Korean military divulged that it and the U.S. Special Forces were staging Take Nike military exercise, which involves stimulating precise strikes on key facilities in North Korea ahead of Freedom Shield. All such exercises enrage North Korea, which viewed them as rehearsals for an invasion. It has said that nuclear weapons and missile programs are for self-defense. Last year, North Korea declared itself as an in reverse nuclear power and fired a record-breaking number of missiles with leader Kim Jong-un last week ordering his military to intensify their own drills to prepare for a real war. Washington has repeatedly restated its commitment on defending South Korea including using a full range of its military capabilities including nuclear. South Korea, for its part, is eager to reassure its increasingly nervous public about U.S. commitment to so-called extended deterrence in which U.S. military assets, including nuclear weapons, serve to prevent attacks on allies. Although the official policy of both countries towards the North that Kim Jong-un must give up his nuclear weapons and return to the table for talks has not changed, experts said there has been a practical shift.